not all decisions made within an organization contribute equally to its strategy. A strategic decision, therefore, differs from other types of decisions in three ways. Number one, the impact it has on the organization. Number two, the time scale. And number three, commitment, both in terms of human resources and material resources. But where exactly in the organization does this happen? In this video, we find out. Hey guys, I'm Moses and welcome to Zeret Network. This video looks to answer this question. Explain each of the following strategic management terms, highlighting the key features that differentiate them. A. Corporate strategy. B. Business strategy. And C. Functional or operational strategy. As organizations grow, the level at which strategic decisions are taken can multiply. It is common to categorize the levels of strategy into three, that is corporate strategy, business strategy, and well, functional or operational strategy. Let's start with functional strategy or operational strategy. These are strategic decisions that affect the organization's value chain, okay? They don't have a great magnitude and are likely to be short term. Let's say you start your own business, dealing in, okay, I have no clue which business you want to start. Maybe you can, you can share that in the comment section. But for the sake of this video, let's say it's a marketing agency. So at this point, you are everything in that business. You are the CEO, the janitor, the marketing guy, the receptionist. The point is, you make all the decisions that come with, the, with that organization or pretty much with the said role. However, as the number of clients increase, things start to get out of hand. And so you will need people to play those roles. All these people will be working in functional departments, okay? And for them, the strategic decisions they will make will be functional ones. And so functional or operational strategy have to deal with the day-to-day -day operation or functionality of the business. Now, let's talk about business level strategy. These strategies relate to choosing which user an organization should serve and which service it should offer them. It also relates to obtaining inputs through an effective supply chain and then utilizing the organization's resources within a value chain that delivers those services effectively and reasonable efficiency. Business level strategy will also deal with developing a setup that enables information to flow into, out of, and around the organization to allow the value chain to function effectively and the organization to learn and adapt. Now that you have your own organization, remember we said you are running a marketing agency, but it has to operate as a business where all the functions act together to achieve a particular objective. So the decisions such as what kind of customers are we to serve or which geographical markets are we to sell our products, all those are going to be business level strategies, okay? So the, the kind of decisions you're going to make there are going to be business level strategic uh, decisions. So the last one is corporate level strategy. As time goes by, businesses often diversify into different areas. You can imagine Google's move to acquire YouTube or Facebook buying Instagram or BMW buying Rolls Royce. Okay, in this case, or rather in the case of your business, or better yet, in the case of your hypothetical marketing agency, maybe you develop a new product or you move into a number of different geographical areas each of which may have the need for a slight different type of management. Clearly, some of these businesses may be different, leading management into coming up with decisions about how these businesses will work together, how many and what sort of businesses should we even have in our portfolio. So these are corporate level strategic decisions. Then again, remember not all organizations diversify to the extent of uh, needing a corporate level strategy. Some very large organizations, for instance McDonald's, are essentially single business. They don't need to make those kinds of, uh, or that they've not made those kinds of diversification. So those are the three levels of strategy in an organization. But as a bonus to this lesson, okay, because you know, the Red Network is all about learning and not just passing exams, let's briefly talk about what makes a good strategy. The kind of strategy chosen will depend on the organization's stakeholders' objectives, okay? So three tests can be applied when looking for a good strategy. These are, number one, whether they fit the environment in which the organization finds itself so that they correspond to survival factors in that environment. And the second one is they should allow the organization to be distinctive, okay? To provide something different that customers will want to buy or function more effectively as opposed to their competitors. And the last thing, they should ensure that the organization is able to survive and thrive over the long term. In short, they should be sustainable. Anyway, stick around this channel for a more detailed video about those three things and your business strategy. If you have any question, let me know and I'll see you in the next lesson.